Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. All right, hello everybody. I am back today with a chill unboxing where I will be unboxing this Hatsune Miku, uh, Miku Expo fifth anniversary figure. But I thought I would kind of open this figure and talk about the Miku Expo. So if you guys are kind of in the Vocaloid fandom, Vocaloid world, you may know that Miku is actually on tour right now in North America. And I was actually fortunate enough to be able to go to the concert in Vancouver on April 4th. And I actually bought this figure while I was in Vancouver as well to like commemorate it. <laughs> I bought it from Hobby Bee, who I've worked with in the past. But um, yeah, anyway, Miku Expo happened uh, and is still happening. She's currently on tour to a lot of drama. So I thought I would unbox this figure with you all today and talk about my thoughts on the whole Miku Expo situation. If you're interested, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the situation in the comments below. Are you mad? Are you kind of indifferent? Did you have fun at the concert if you've been? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into my thoughts. I typically don't talk about like drama <laughs> or negativity on the channel, but I thought it would be kind of fun to open this up and, and chat with you guys a little bit because I'm curious to see what you guys think. So if you are not up to speed on the Miku Expo drama, basically um, this is the first year back since 2020 with the Miku Expo in North America where Miku is like plays on stage here across Canada and the US. Um, in 2020 it was going to happen, then it got cancelled because of COVID. So this is like the first year back. Uh, in person. There were a couple online concerts, but this is the first one in person. Um, and it's been met with a lot of <laughs> drama and unhappy people. Basically, Miku typically performs on like a... She's not really a hologram. It's more like a clear, transparent screen. I'll try and put an example while I'm talking about this. Typically, she presents on like this like clear, transparent screen. But um, in the case of the new Miku Expo, they opted to go for like a big just normal screen, like a LCD or like an OLED, whatever it is. I personally think it's an OLED because the blacks are super, super black. And honestly, like she looks great. Like the resolution is beautiful. Uh, but yeah, basically they opted for like a screen instead of a glass screen that you project the hologram on. So people are upset because they were expecting kind of a hologram and they feel like the immersion has been broken. Now, uh, I think a lot of the people that are complaining and asking for refunds and are really, really mad about the concert didn't actually go or haven't been yet because I went to the first show. So we had no idea. Vancouver was the first show on the tour. So like we had no idea that um, this was all going to go down. Um, <clears throat> but honestly, I really didn't think that it was that bad. I only really saw the tweets after the concert. I had fun. I had an amazing time. It was so cool to see Miku. This is my first time ever going to a Miku concert, so it was amazing to see her perform. But yeah, I think a lot of the negativity coming out of this is honestly from people who didn't even go or haven't even been yet. I know some people like released photos and stuff of the screen. It does look worse in photos, um, for sure. It looks better in real life. But yeah, people were mad. And now, okay, I get it. Like I spent a lot of money. I traveled to Vancouver to see it. So like this, going to this concert probably cost me over a thousand dollars, right? But I don't know, I still had fun. To me, the most important part of going to the Miku Expo wasn't even to really to see Miku perform. It was just to like be there and be vibing with like all of the people that were there. It was just fun to be surrounded by like Miku fans, you know? It was just fun to be there. Everyone was so excited. There were so many people dressed up in like cosplays. There was like this Canada Miku standee out front, which that's a whole other drama. It got like stolen. It was like someone's personal thing that they brought out of like the goodness of their heart and then someone took it. Anyway, there's a lot more drama on that as well. Um, but honestly, I had an amazing, amazing time. I'm gonna open this now, so I'm gonna stop talking. I just truly enjoyed being there with all of the Miku fans. To me, it wasn't really the screen that made or break, made or made or broke. It wasn't the screen wasn't a make or break thing for me. You know, like the hologram probably would have been cool, but I actually really liked the stage setup. I was kind of more off to the side. We were like in low bowl off to the side a couple of rows up. So if we were watching like a hologram, I think our viewing angle honestly would have been terrible. So having the screen, we definitely had a good viewing angle for the show. And the, the colors were so crisp, everything looked great. Um, I do feel like the screen was pulled too far forward on the stage and they had lights behind it, which really broke the immersion. Um, at other Miku concerts that are happening in Japan and stuff, they often will use like a screen and then just have stuff around it. So like, even if it were a hologram on a glass sheet, it wouldn't really matter. 
And I think people were really expecting something more than what Hatsune Miku concerts typically offer, you know? And it's okay to expect more if you spend a lot of money. I don't wanna like invalidate anyone by saying that, uh, but honestly, I feel like there's too much negativity <laughs> about it. We had an absolute blast. I had so much fun. Um, I did order some merch after the fact because, now this actually did make me mad. You know, I can get over the screen, but I did really want a light stick from the Miku Expo and they did not have any, like they sold out online before I could order one. I didn't realize the merch sale was going up. So I didn't order a light stick beforehand. I have a light stick that my brother got me for my birthday off Bai for, um, from the Magical Mirai last year. So I was able to bring that, but a lot of people don't have one already. Um, and since they sold out online, a lot of people were gonna get it the day of. Because I had VIP tickets, we were able to get into the venue an hour before everyone else. So we had assumed that meant we could get to the merch stand an hour before everyone else. But in fact, they started selling merch outside of the venue at 2 p.m. the day of the concert. And we were like traveling to Vancouver that day from Edmonton, so like we couldn't just go at 2 p.m. Like it wasn't gonna happen. So we were like, dang, at least we're VIPs, we'll be able to go in and get the light sticks before the concert. We get in after being VIPs, we go to the merch table. They had like one extra large shirt and nothing else. And I was just like, what? Even on like the email before the concert, they told us that we'd be able to get first dibs at the merch inside the venue. And then they had no merch inside the venue. So anyway, that did make me a little mad. I was upset that I couldn't get my light stick. I'm not gonna lie. But to me, that was the most egregious thing that happened. Like th that was the thing that made me mad. Not the screen. The screen was honestly fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> there was so much drama though. Like, I wanna know what you guys think of this whole situation. I couldn't believe the like vitriol on Twitter um, about this whole thing. Uh, but other than the drama, I had so much fun. I was worried that Miku would sing songs that I didn't know because you know, there's so many Vocaloid songs out there, but she sang so many that I knew. Dude, spoilers. If you guys don't want to know the set list, I'm going to name a couple of the songs so you can just skip this. I'll put the timestamp on the screen, but oh my God, when she like opened with Miku and then went right into vampire, I was like, <laughs> and then, oh my God. Oh, like, Gimme Gimme with Rin, my life was made, my life was made. It was so good. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, she also sang this song uh, that this figure is based on. So I thought I would pick up this figure as like a memento. And I've decided that I wanna pick up all of the figures of all of the different models that they used at the Miku Expo. So I think that'll be fun. Like I'll get all the figures and then I can have like a shelf that's like Miku Expo 2024. And it shows like all the Miku outfits that she wore. Cause she does change throughout the show. They like change her model with her different hairstyles and stuff. So I thought that was so cute. But yeah, they had this figure at Hobby Bee. So the day after the concert, we went to Hobby Bee and of course I had to pick it up. It was like a little memento of my first Miku concert. Um, and also this, this is just like a cool figure, I think. Like look at how sick that base is. So cool, so cool. Oh, okay. So like this like graffiti part stuck into this cool graffiti base and then she just sticks, there's like a metal peg here and she sticks on there. Um, of course, the sculpt and everything on this figure, it looks so cute. I'm actually in love with it. And now it just has like such a special place in my heart because of the concert. Oh, I don't know, I had so much fun. I think if you guys are like upset about it or reading the tweets and being like, damn, like the concert must be awful. When you're actually there, it's such a good time. Like. I know it may be disappointing that there's no hologram, but I really think the people that are like selling their tickets and stuff are going too far. The concert is still incredibly fun. And I had just the best time there with Graham and Danielle and we were just partying and dancing and singing. It was so much fun. So even throughout all this drama, I think it was still fun. And I feel like people are just so negative. Like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm like trying to defend them for kind of cheaping out and not doing a hologram because that's not what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I guess I'm defending them a little bit, but I'm just saying that like, even though it sucks that maybe we couldn't get the full Miku experience people were expecting, we still got a really fun concert. And I was just so happy that I was able to go and see it and not have to travel to Japan to do so, you know? Japan's expensive. So if Miku's coming to your city, you have tickets, you're like, should I sell them or should I go? Definitely go. It will be a blast. You're gonna have so much fun. Um, the set list is so good. I know some people weren't a huge fan of the set list, I am, I think it was fantastic. I'm a bit more of like a noob Miku fan. Like I only really got into Vocaloid in like 2020. So 
most of the Vocaloid songs, like I don't know the old, like I know the classic old ones, like World Is Mine, which she sang, of course. Um, but like, I don't know a lot of the old songs. So I liked this, this set list because I feel like it had some old ones. It had some that were like hype that everybody knew. And then it had some really cool ones that I hadn't heard before. And I've been like listening to them after the concert. And I'm like, slay, that was so good. But I, I had so much fun. I, the only thing I wish is I wish, oh, I wish. I wish Luca had sang Luca Luca Night Fever. There really weren't that many Luca songs. And Luca Luca Night Fever is just one of my favorite Vocaloid songs of all time. So I do wish she sang that one. That was probably my only like disappointment where I was like, I really wanted her to sing a song and she didn't. But other than that, they sang so many songs I love. I was so hyped. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. And here she is. She was actually quite easy to assemble. Here is the Miku. This is the Hatsune Miku Miku Expo 5th Anniversary Lucky Orb Uta X Kasoku version. Such a cool figure. Honestly, this model was so adorable at the concert, like doing the song. She is just adorable. Oh my God. And also being able to see the like, cause uh, for this Miku Expo, they did like a contest. So there was someone submitted a song um, and then someone else did like an illustration that was that would be made into like a Miku model where she sings. And she sang like the, the fan song with the fan outfit and she looked so cute. And she did like a Miku beam and it was just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Kudos to the artists that like made the song and the, the Miku design just, Amazing, amazing work. It was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. This Miku was also super, super adorable. I think she just looks like so cute. I love the like graffiti print all over her. I love her like hair. It looked so cute like on stage when she was dancing with these like ribbons in it. I loved it. Uh, bass is so sick. It actually says the name of the song, like Lucky Orb, which is so cool. I didn't realize that when I bought it. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm so obsessed with her. I love her. I'm so happy I was able to pick her up as kind of like a memento of the Miku Expo that weekend. And I got her for a pretty good price at Hobby Bee as well. So I'm just so happy to have added this Miku to my collection. Hope you guys love her too. I'm just so obsessed with Miku and I feel like going to this concert really like reinvigorated my obsession with Miku. Moral of the story is, does it suck we didn't get a hologram? Yes. Should you let it ruin your time at the Expo? Absolutely not. You will have so much fun. You are just going to have like the best time. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the, the songs, the music. People have the, the set list available now. So like if you, if you want to spoil it for yourself before you go and learn all the songs, definitely do that. Um, definitely bring glow sticks. So I had my light stick, but I brought a bunch of glow sticks to give out. So there were some people around me that didn't get light sticks. So I gave them glow sticks and it was just fun. Like everyone wants to have kind of something to like go to the music with everyone else, you know? So I definitely recommend bringing glow sticks if you aren't able to get a light stick for the concert because that just made everything so much more fun. It was so fun to see all the people around us. Everybody looked so cute. I'll put a picture of my outfit and Danielle and Graham. Uh, we were all slaying, if, if, if I do say so myself. I was loving all of our outfits. We just had the best time. So yeah, that's kind of my take on the Miku Expo. Let me know in the comments below. If you're mad, let me know. If you, if you think I'm not justified, I will listen to your arguments. I completely understand like people are spending a lot of money to go to this concert. So you want it to be the best thing possible. But from my experience, if you have spent a bunch of money, you're going on a trip, you're gonna see Miku, just enjoy it, have fun. Don't worry about what people online are saying. Just you do you and have a great time. And I'm, I promise you, you will, I promise. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully I could spread some, spread some positivity about kind of a negative, thing. <laughs> um, I still had a super, super fun time and I'm so glad I got to see Miku live. Now I want to see her again. I was literally smi smiling ear to ear the whole concert. Like I was like, why am I emotional? She's like Taylor Swift to me. You know, like Swifties, how they cry when Taylor Swift comes on stage. That's me, but with uh, Hatsune Miku. So yeah, I loved it. I love her. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, comment, or even subscribing. And if you'd like to support Gwen Collects more, you can actually subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Gwen Collects. It's linked in the description below. A huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon, and an even bigger thank you to all of my Chica Tier patrons. Ryomi, Castle, Noble, Melindy Lou, Remember June, and Leon Blade, and Chance. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, I hope you all have a very, very wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.